What's up everybody, it's John Murs here with you. So, uh, this video, <laughs> so, uh, it's a self-tape audition and there's a lot of copy. So basically what the client was looking for was somebody that was really good with a teleprompter. Um, I don't know that I've ever used a teleprompter before. So next best case was to, excuse me as I go frame. Oh, that hurt. Oh, right on the knee. Uh, was to write all the copy out on this big giant whiteboard that my wife was awesome enough to get me and uh, try to read that sort of off as I'm kind of looking at the camera but kind of not so we tried that for a little while and uh, didn't really work that well so then I sort of took to memorizing this whole thing and uh, that went less well <laughs> and uh, we finally got uh, finally got a decent take, so you're gonna see a lot of um, uh, outtakes, uh, a lot of swearing on my part as uh, as I move from in front of the camera to behind the camera, since uh, since I was running the audition uh, with the self tape running the camera myself. So anyway, so just another one of the things actors go through. This is. Um, if if you're in the industry, you know that there's a lot of hard work that goes into it and uh, a lot of frustration in trying to capture things just uh, just as they need to be in order to hopefully book the job. So I figured it'd be kind of cool to, to throw a blooper reel together of, of this self-tape audition and uh, I'm going to send off the good take and uh, you never know. I might book it, I might not, but regardless, I got some, uh, I got some good footage of me screwing up uh, out of it. So hope you enjoy it. Be sure to subscribe too. Yeah, so I'm trying to do a self tape right now, but the Blue Jays outside of my office window are squawking up a storm. Can you hear that? So yeah, so this is fun. So this is one of the things that happens when you're doing acting and auditions. Stuff like this happens. Mother Nature doesn't feel like cooperating with you. As a judge, it may seem there's little... Uh, they may also be barred from housing assistance. Uh, fuck a bastard. Being trafficked can result in criminal... Uh, fuck. As a judge, it can be... Uh, fuck. Being trafficked can result in criminal convictions that can... Uh, fuck. They may not be able to get a job, obtain... Uh, fuck. Fuck. Being trafficked can result in criminal convictions that can prevent survivors from moving on with their lives. Being... Uh, uh, oh, on, Murrows. Fuck. As a judge, it may seem like there's little you can do to help victims of human trafficking. <sighs> Healing. They have experienced a great deal of trauma. For po uh, oh god, it was so close. Trying this again. What take is this? 30? They have experienced a great deal of trauma. Post-conviction relief is an opportunity for a survivor to oh, God damn it. receive public assistance, apply for a student loan. Post-conviction relief can be an opportunity for a survivor oh, to get a second chance. Fuck! They may also be barred from housing assistance, applying from a student loan. Oh. Applying from? Oh, really? <laughs> for a student loan. They may also be barred by, from, ah, uh, fuck me. They may not, ah, uh, they may not be able to get a job, damn it. Without post-conviction relief, ah, uh, with, ah, uh, god damn it, son of a fuck, bitch, mother. <laughs> Powered and to reclaim their life. Oh, tell me we got that. Fuck me.